Hi again, lads, and welcome back to the second channel. Commonly mistaken for a failed Disney show pitch that got shot down before the first word about it was even said to the Disney executive team. Today I want to take a look at another subreddit with you guys, this time a subreddit called r slash surreal memes. A subreddit with memes that have ascended so far past the mortal mind that they have become completely incomprehensible. But also the easiest thing to understand in the world at the same time. It's kind of genius if you apply apple juice after cooking well. What? Based off the title of the subreddit that they're on, the memes here are about as you would think them to be. They follow in the wake of the surrealism cultural movement, just instead of collapsing art conventions at the time, they instead collapse meme format into something so meta that you don't really understand them, but it makes you laugh anyways. This infection even bleeds into other aspects of the subreddit other than just the post, like the title for each meme being equally as nonsensical, yet brilliantly simultaneous. Did that sentence make sense? No. But did it also make sense? Yes! That pretty much describes what we're going to be looking at today. It's pretty great. But since these memes are so hopelessly abstract for the average person such as yourselves to consume, I figured I would use my centuries advanced galaxy brain to translate for you guys. I will decipher what hidden meaning these authors intended for their memes, and if they didn't have any in mind, then we can just make some shit up off the top of our heads. Anyways, let's jump into some surreal memes! And then Mac Miller died. The Abyss call, however, they did not respond. Off of early analysis, I'm assuming that the top panel is supposed to represent the Abyss, but also the windows in the background of the final panel. The man with three heads representing Hydra and with extra appendages is supposed to represent the amount of times he's been calling the Abyss without getting a text back. Hmm, very deep. This will require further meditation. This guy hungers! Is that Ben Shapiro getting eaten? Oh man, it would have been great if the one dude that was getting eaten was missing a shoe and that the shoe on the left was also his. It kind of ties the whole thing together, but then again, it being a little more surreal means that you don't exactly want it to be tied together. It's a very, very precise, but completely abstract art form. You wouldn't get it, I'm sorry. I'm just really smart and really cool, and you're not. Braid, flying insect. Bee's now happy and doesn't stick. You will not believe the results. No human. No cry. We are not responsible if bees become more dreaded. Huh, <laughs> guys, get it? Because braids? Man, the collector's edition for Tyler the Creator's Flower Boy sure looks cool. Orchestra of Kebab! The annual orchestra show of Goof Dimension. Don't tell me that I pronounced that improperly. Your brains can't process it. Uh, I'm willing to bet that the universe where the meat is being played as an instrument is the same one where Patrick thought that mayonnaise was an instrument. Guys, I made a SpongeBob reference. Subscribe to the channel. Wilma, that food you brought home is doing that thing again. It's like an extension of when you leave food for in the fridge too long and then it starts growing mold and then you don't know what to do because then the entire universe starts collapsing under your feet. <laughs> Very relatable, I know. You guys ever just have like a giant ant walking around your house? My giant ant's name is Joshua. He's very nice. He's actually in the corner over there. Quiet, you have to let me go. It's been 13 years, buddy. He doesn't, I lied, I'm sorry. He's not actually there. At last, I'm free. The amount of imaginary friends I'm willing to make to try and pretend I can keep company. Don't let him fool you. I just want to talk. The skeletal cannot be trusted. He will give you bones! See, what we're looking at here is that the fish that's running away from the skeletal man is just a conglomerate mass of flesh. He has no skeletal structure or exoskeleton to speak of. So now what this conglomerate mass of flesh is supposed to represent is the mess that is your life. And the skeleton is responsibility tried and come to you that you might be afraid of, but it's actually trying to give structure to said mess of a life. But you're running away from it because you're too scared to face it. I mean, look at it. It's literally a fucking skull and it's glowing. Who wouldn't be terrified of that shit? White eyeball be like, sister. Society. Inverted eyeball be like Uh, the meaning behind this one is that it's lost. Breaking news, yet another mass shooting! This isn't good you guys, and I'm not gonna try and read that name. See, I get it, because he shot literal mass. He went like, pop, 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 and then split up the atoms, and then a nuclear explosion happened, and everybody died. Uh, it's kind of, that's a bit grim, isn't it? Me and the boys drinking the tr <laughs> huh, they're just speaking in fucking Skyrim dragon tongue. I like how this one is recognizable as a, a normal kind of mainstream kind of meme format, but it's still very, very surreal in a lot of aspects. I like that mixing of the two worlds while still firmly belonging in this one. You know, it's a nice little fusion of ideas. You may enter. I don't mind. And then it's just a big silver man with a reflection of urinals in him. It's really stupid shit like this, which is why I love this subreddit. This meme means to tell you that being afraid to pee next to another person is more gay than if you just fucking did it. Stop scrolling. The man inside your device is losing his balance. 
and patience. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just hold your fucking phone still, dude. Have some common courtesy, man. That's the little gyroscope inside your iPhone that lets it do all the cool effects and shit. Get in the function. will transform you into an invincible, all-knowing cosmic being. This is basically saying stay in school and get good at math because it's good in the workforce or whatever. Guys, I don't make the rules. I'm just translating stuff, okay? I'm just trying to convey the meaning of this next level memory to you because you will never understand it. Me and the entities existing. That's it. Yep, it's just them being about. That's it. There's nothing else to it. He went through the effort of carving himself. Will you not at least say hi? Motherfucker willed himself into existence. He's not even gonna say hi to him, dude. Come on, be nice. No, this generation has no manners. I'm telling you. Oh boy, 4 p.m. Time to be. Wow, I sure do love this time. Slightly less. Uh, what meaning would I ascribe to it if I had to? I don't know, enjoy the moment that you have because you might not have the next one or some gay shit. How to get Long. This one's pretty straightforward. It's just a tutorial. You go from crab to lobster to lobster to lobster to lobster. It's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory, honestly. I don't think I really need to explain this one to you. This post is entitled Quantum Duck. You see, this duck right here has truly ascended and now has Superman heat vision and is about to kill all of us. Uh, Quark! Quark! Give me a second. I have to look up the definition of Quark because I'm actually very stupid. Quark, any of a number of subatomic particles carrying a fractional electric charge, postulated as a building blocks of the hadrons. All right, more words I have to look up. I give up. Welcome to the outsides. There is so many fun things you can do outside, including eat grass, eat leaf, scream, whir, exist. Yeah, no, it's essentially r slash phones are bad, except for Pablo Picasso followers. Once again, the frog rolls a six. Ah, uh, look at him. He's got a little cowboy hat. Isn't that adorable? God, frogs are so cute, dude. Have you seen Weast's frogs? Those are really cute frogs. And every side of the six-sided die is also a six. Tragic. Oh, great. Good going, dingus. You've let your apple ripen far too long. And now, he's developed feelings. You know what you have to do. Dude, I'm just saying, I didn't forget your birthday. At least someone remembered. I don't know, man. That doesn't really look like an apple. That looks like an orange stem more than anything. And the coloration, mm, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't think that's an apple, guy. Oh, rats. Would you look at the time? <laughs> We're late for business. <laughs> I don't know how I make it through half these recordings. This is kind of a metaphor for don't let time control your life. Let your life control time. I don't have anything. <laughs> I fucking forgot what this one was. Arise, my uncooked brethren. Ah, uh, he just fucking shocks them with force lightning to life. And everything's popped. It's popping. Uh, fuck. Well, there's just like a trumpet valve sticking out because there's just shoved in there. I wonder what a trumpet would sound like if it was fucking stuffed full with popcorn. For sale, mystic powers of the ancient realm used. Ah, so this is the modern version of how Greeks will let men ascend to godhood. I see. Even the deities have to evolve with the times. I'm sincerely sorry, sir. I'm afraid without a valid ticket, I'll need to ask you to disembark the time snake. Trademark. I really don't like the fucking look of the dummy uh, train conductor. That's terrifying. I hate that. Because it looks almost human. He's just fucking been severely melted or he's part of the wax museum in whatever state you can find that in. Aren't the wax readers kind of notorious for being really bad occasionally? <laughs> Picking up dogs. You know, just like picking them up and shit, like a dog picking up a dog. Picking up cats. They become noodles and fall apart like the very fabric of your existence. Fabric of my being, if you will. And lastly, we're ending on something Spider-Man related because of course we are. What kind of video would this be if I wasn't talking about Spider-Man at some point in it? Ah, an eight-limbed hexahedron. What a rare sight. Yo, it hath bit my menace. I hope I said all those words right. They're big ones and I don't know what half of them are. Ah, no, I am now becoming a hexahedron monstrosity. Yeah, no, that was a r slash surreal memes. If that wasn't a trip, then I fucking don't know what is. If you guys could figure out what any of those shits meant, please leave that in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. Uh, please subscribe to this, the second channel. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, this has been good. Uh, let me know if you wanted me to do more shit like this. Anyways, this has been quite, and I'll see you guys next time. Wait. I must say something. When's the next do with your video? Bye, get out of here.